In this video, learn how to create four types of animated countdown timers for your next live stream or webinar. Let's get started. Option one is a bar style timer. Add a rectangle with the dimensions of one inch by 2.66 inches wide. Change the fill to a dark color and change the shape outline to the same color. Change the weight of the outline to six points. Right click over the shape and choose edit text. Add the number five. Change the font size between 72 and 96. For this option, I will choose 88. Next, select the shape. From the Animations tab, click the down arrow in the Animation section. Apply the Wipe Exit Animation. From the Effects Option button, change the direction to From Right. In the Timing section of the Animation tab, change the duration to 59. In PowerPoint, you can't set the duration for more than 59 seconds, and to get a full minute, add a delay of one second. With the shape selected, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Move the new shape next to the first one so that the edges are touching. With the second shape selected, duplicate it three more times. Change the number of each shape so they count down from four to one. Change the fill of each shape, making each one lighter. From the Animation tab, open the Animation pane. Select the four to one animations. Change the start to after previous. If you want the slide to automatically move to the next slide after the countdown, in the Transition tab, uncheck on mouse click, and then check after, and leave the time to zero. Here is a sped up preview of the full animation. The second option is a stopwatch timer. This uses the same animations as the bar timer, but with circles and a few more graphical elements. From the shape button, add a circle. Change the fill to a dark color. From the shape outline option, choose no outline. Right click over the shape and choose edit text. Add the number one. From the Animations tab, click the down arrow in the Animation section. Apply the Wheel Exit animation. In the duration, change it to 59. Add a delay of one second. And this will give you a full minute animation. With the shape selected, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Move the new shape next to the first one. With the second shape selected, Duplicate it three more times. Change the number of each shape from two to five. From the Animation tab, open the Animation pane. Move the animation so five is at the top of the list and one is at the bottom. Select the four to one animations and change the start to after previous. Change the fill of each color so each one is a lighter color than the previous one. Select all of the circles. From the Shape Format tab, select Align Center and Align Middle. Change the dimensions of the shape to 4 inches by 4 inches, and change the font size to 96 or larger. For this option, I will choose 200. Now insert the stopwatch icon. From the Insert tab, click the Icons button. Search by Stopwatch. Choose the one with a thinner outline. Resize it to 6 inches by 6 inches. In the same tab, click the Convert to Shape button. Click the Minute and Second Hands and delete them change the fill and border to a medium gray. Now add the title break time. From the insert tab, click the icons button again. Type in T, T-E-A, and choose the teacup and mug with the solid fill. Click the insert button and resize each to four inches. Rearrange them so they're next to each other. Add a text box and type in break is over. Resize the font to 96. And from the shape tab, align center and align middle to the slide. Now set the animations so that the break time objects disappear and the break is over text appears. Choose the stopwatch, coffee mug, teacup, and break time title. From the Animations tab, click the drop-down arrow and choose the Disappear Exit. Change the Start to After Previous and select the Break is Over text box. From the Animations tab, apply the Appear animation. Set the Start to After Previous. Here is a sped up preview of the full animation. Using shapes and icons as part of an animated countdown timer provides many options to be creative. Leave a comment and share your ideas on how you could use these animation features 
for different countdown timers. The third option is a number countdown for a small amount of time, like 10 seconds. Add a text box and type in the numbers 01. This will keep all of the text boxes to a similar size. Change the fill to match your background and remove any outline. From the Animations tab, click the down arrow in the Animation section. Apply the Wipe Exit Animation. From the Effect Options button, change to From Top and change the duration to one second. Duplicate the text box, move it next to the first text box, select the second text box and duplicate it using Ctrl D eight more times. Change the numbers of each of the text boxes. From the Animation tab, click the Animation Pane button. In the Animation Pane, move the animation so that 10 is at the top of the list and one is at the bottom. Select the nine to one animations and change the start to after previous. Select all of the text boxes. From the Shape Format tab, choose Align Center and Align Middle. Change the font size to about 200. Move the numbers to where you want them on the slide. Here's a sped up version of the full animation. The fourth option is using a timer add-in. This is the best option if you want to have a larger numerical countdown. From the Insert tab, click the Get Add-ins button. In the search box of the pop-up window, type the word timer. Press the search button or the enter key. Several options will appear on the search results list. All of them generally work in the same way. However, some of them do require an account or require payment. The one I recommend is break time. Click the add button. If prompted, click the continue button to agree to their terms of use. Once you've added the timer to PowerPoint, you can insert it onto any slide from the My Add-ins button on the Insert tab. Once inserted, resize it to the size that you want. You can use the Height and Width in the Shape Format tab or use the sizing handles. Now all you need to do is adjust the minutes and seconds. If you want to add a background image, select an option from the Type drop-down menu. This is one of the limiting aspects of the timer. You cannot customize the background images or the background color. One nice feature of this add-in is that in full presentation mode, you can adjust the timer if needed. When ready, click the start button to begin the countdown and the controls will fade away as the countdown begins. If you need to stop or reset the timer, just move your mouse over the slide and the buttons will reappear. Continue watching for more slide design tips and tricks.